How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast here on YouTube. Oh, hell. The animated movie's doing great. My understanding is the animated movie in its like first day in theaters made more money than this film has ever made. This is Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Just known as the Super Mario Brothers. And this is the one from what, 90... Ninety something. I don't see a year on this thing anywhere. I don't yeah, I don't see a name a year on this anywhere. And this is a fairly newer release of this because look, it's an eco case. It's got the just made in Mexico thing on it. I want to say this was like 92, 93. All right. Mario Brothers by this time. Yeah, because by this time, uh, Mario World was out. And I think maybe the second game on the Game Boy, Mario game. Was, they said they were going to make a Mario Brothers movie. Okay, cool, cool. Let's get, you know, Bob Hoskins to play Mario. Okay, that that works. John goes on to play Luigi. Okay, he's not horrible at it. Okay, yeah. This hoppers me King Cooper, and you're like, okay. Oh, and uh, Parker Stevens, he's going to be one of King Koopa's kids. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh, and uh, Samantha Mathis, she's going to be the princess, but she's like a college student. What? And she's Daisy in this. So that's Luigi's love interest, if I'm remembering right. But yeah, this it's just, it's insane. It's basically... Back then, because we're not going to do super, super CGI on this. It's the closest we're going to... It's like... The city looks like Blade Runner if Blade Runner was invaded with fungus. Mario and Luigi end up getting sucked down into the, the underworld. What it was, a meteor hits, and the dinosaurs get shunted off to a different world where they kind of develop into kind of humanoid dinosaurs. Dennis Hopper's ahead of them, and they have like no... They, all, all their stuff's electric. They have no gasoline because of dinosaur fossil fuel. And Mario and Luigi are down there, and they got to get this piece of the meteor right that the prince has been running around, or that Daisy's been running around her neck into the meteor, and it'll solve her. And so it's a merge of two worlds. And Yoshi's in it, and the Goombas. And... Let's see, is there anything on the back? All right, look. Goombas, all that shit. It's just, it's not a bad movie. It's one of those where whenever this came out, I took my two cousins, because love my aunt to death. But she was quick. If my cousins were going to be out of school for more than like two days, to haul ass over to my grandparents' house and drop them off for the entire time they're out. My cousins are stuck over there at my grandparents' house where there's no kids their age. There ain't really anything to do besides watch TV all day or go ride your bike. And they hated it. So if I was around, I'd be like, hey, you know, I'll come take, come on, come on over, have done with me, I'll take you out to the movies. And they, we voted in the, the boy cousin, I didn't say his name, decided on this, so we went and saw it. And I enjoyed it then, and I had seen it once or twice since then. Honestly, I forgot about this movie until a couple of years ago when, from the King of Wrestling podcast, we're trying to spin off a movie podcast that I'll throw it out there. We recorded. Three or four episodes, I think like one got released. It just, it wasn't, it didn't work. It didn't work. But this is one of the movies the guy wanted to do. It's like, oh, I got to find the DVD. It's like, oh yeah, it's out of print. There's no Blu-ray in the States. Like there's a UK blue. Like whoever owns this, what is this? Is this a uh, Touchstone? Buena Vista, which means Buena Vista is what, Disney, I think? It's Buena Vista. This is one of those that, like, they're trying to, I don't know, I wouldn't say sweep under It's not streaming or anything that I've seen, which kind of surprised me. I figured one of the streaming services would grab this. To film. Yeah, it's not bad. It, the only bad thing is it totally, the ending totally sets up for the next film that they they do. This is going to be a hit. I mean, really? Back then, I would say, this was the first video game movie I could think of. Because, I mean, you'll see the film Space Invaders listed as a video game film. It's not. It's not based on Space Invaders. It's more based on the old uh, uh, War of the Worlds radio play, that thing. So you had this, you had what, Street Fighter, which bombed. You had the first Mortal Kombat, which 
got shit in reviews, but did really good. Like, I remember going to open at night when I came out, like, the theater was sold out for the whole weekend. Like, as soon as tickets went on sale, all the tickets sold out. I'm like, oh, shit, we ain't gonna see it for a couple of days. Uh, probably. And there's been some good ones, but this is probably the one I've seen the most. Well, no, I'll take it back. Back then you had Double Dragon. I've seen Double Dragon on five. But I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. If you did, give me that thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.